All right, we know smoking can cause cancer. It can be deadly, but an interesting study out raising eyebrows about the benefits of nicotine. Yeah. Chief Health Editor Dr. Parthen Andy joins us. We're talking about the potential to protect the brain against diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Yeah, it's pretty important. So a team from Texas A&M College of Medicine researched how nicotine affected appetite, weight, anxiety, and a specific neuron receptor in the brain. Now, different amounts of nicotine was added to drinking water and given to mice. Now, the ones drinking high levels of nicotine, guess what? They ate less, gained less weight, and an increase of nicotine acetylcholine receptors in the brain. Now, other studies have linked the receptor to brain aging protection, so pretty interesting. Now is this the same nicotine that you find in a cigarette or even those e-cigarettes? Yeah, it's an important question. So nicotine is the chemical found in tobacco and e-cigarette mm -hmm. liquids. However, in this study, nicotine was given in drinking water, not through smoking, so it's important. Tobacco smoke, as we know, contains a deadly mix of over 7,000 chemicals with roughly 70 of them, Stephen, causing cancer. Mm -hmm. So the benefits do not outweigh the risks here. All right, so you've got a prescription for us for people who want to consider this idea of adding nicotine to protect against... Or other things that could help your brain be more functional. So, number one, make exercise a part of your daily life. Now, studies show those who moderately exercise, and Stephen does this, maintain more <laughs> of their mental skills. And also, number two, keep mentally active. Brain stimulates, brain activities can stimulate new connections between nerve cells, and that helps. Also, eat healthy, limit sugar and saturated fats. Eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. I love blueberries for this. Also, do not smoke, or if you are, please quit. Those who stop smoking greatly reduce their risk for other health-related diseases and early death. Now, I'm not a smoker, never have been, but once I unadvisedly took a little bit of chew, a little tobacco, uh, the reaction was horrible. I mean, I did not <laughs> react well. I mean, is there a danger that this nicotine can actually people react to it badly? Yeah, I think so. You know, what happens is that in, in this study, the, the, the researchers found no increased signs of anxiety in mice <laughs> given the high dose of nicotine. Now, these results are preliminary, and again, your reaction people also still have. There are many un unanswered questions regarding safety. No one, and I emphasize, no one should consider nicotine as a viable, safe way to protect their brain from aging. I should emphasize that. All right, so your prescription's a better idea. That's exactly All right. right. All right, thank you. Eat some blueberries. Some blueberries, Joanne. There you Joanne. go. All right, thanks, guys.